Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, there was a movie you may have heard of starring Keanu Reeves called The Matrix, and that movie introduced us to what is a common term called bullet time, and that's uh, that thing where you see the bullets traveling in really slow motion. You saw Keanu kind of you know waving it off as it went by. Well, I started thinking I've got a one thirty-two thousandth of a second shutter with this Z9, and I have 120 frames per second. And while I'm not filming that way, I was wondering if that camera could stop a bullet. So, yeah, this is the experiment we ran. All right, today we are going to test the Nikon Z9 and see if we can capture a bullet in flight. And what we've got is a target that is set up over here. We're going to be shooting a pistol, uh, actually two different pistols. Uh, they're both in the 1100 to 1200 feet per second range as far as uh, the speed of the projectile. And for my safety, we're going to frame this with, uh, with Ralph, who's going to be the guy shooting. And we're going to set this in 4K 120 video which I can pull a steel from that 4K frame and it's going to equate to about 12 megapixels, which is perfectly suitable uh, for steel images. And then, so we're going to run it at 120 frames per second and at 1 thousandth of a second shutter speed, uh, which should give us about a two inch stop on the bullet uh, if we can time it right. So we'll get him to fire several shots and then we'll also set up and see what we can spot as the projectiles hits the target and see how this thing captures that as well. Now I've got um I've got this Z9. It's gonna be set up with an 85 millimeter lens is what we're gonna attempt to do everything with. All right, so, huh? Oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, see how it's following him? All right, Chuck, you got to go over there. All right. Let's not get get shot. All right, so we have got it set. Horizontal's right. All right, so we've got it set. It's 132,000 of a second. I got it set at f1.8, ISO 2500 for this shot. Actually, we're going to lower that down to about ISO 1000. It has got Ralph's eyes in focus. And he's going to do his best not to shoot my camera. All righty. Uh, let's go with three shots. So you don't have to go pop, 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 but like fire, reset, fire, reset, fire. I'm going to stop the footage here. Uh, you can see that when I pull the steel back up, you can see the the projectile coming from the muzzle as well as the muzzle blast. And I got two more good shots uh, catching the bullet coming from the muzzle with Ralph, uh, which you can see here. Uh, the thing is, the camera does a really good job of finding his face and focusing on that. And I thought about it, and I think I wanted to see more focus on what was coming from the firearm. And so I went back out by myself. Well, I went back out with my wife, and I had her uh, operate the camera as far as starting the record. But we ran the camera at 4K 120 video, 
but at one thirty-two thousandth of a second for each of the shutters. So we're not doing the 180 rule that you use for a typical filming because I'm trying to find those individual stills out of the video. And 120 frames per second, if I shot perpendicular, so I'm here and I'm shooting this way, I've got the camera perpendicular to that angle so that me, my firearm, and the bullet will be on that same uh, focal plane for the most part. And I figured at 120 feet per sec, or excuse me, 120 frames per second, that the bullet would travel no further than seven or eight feet from the muzzle if I would, had just completely missed the, the squeezing of the trigger there for that to happen. So out of 10 shots, I shot 10 rounds, two magazines, and seven of them, I caught the bullet pretty clear, but I'll show you just a couple of them here. But the thing is, uh, you can just start to see the effect of rolling shutter in the Z9, but this is at over a thousand feet per second. So it's negligible for everyday use. Now propellers, uh, I'm, I'll have to test this with a propeller on an airplane later on or on a helicopter, uh, but I'm really impressed with the way the Z9 was able to capture that. And so yeah, the Z9, it can stop a bullet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's where we are. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Watch this little part here. You'll see my shots as well as the steals from it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing some more Z9 stuff here uh, coming up. Uh, I've got some sports things coming up with uh, softball and baseball with it. So... We've got some interesting uh, follow-ups there, as well as I've got some more filming. Uh, I've got two films that I'm working on that you'll see some footage pop up on the channel as well. So, yeah, until next time, watch the rest of this, and we will catch you then. Bye.